In this little video, we're going to point out some of the unique features of Standard Time. Um, you're going to see that Standard Time has a lot of features, and they are laid out to be as user-friendly as possible, um, easy and simple to use. Um, and as we go through these, you may realize or know that some of these features are available in competitive products, but it's unlikely that you'll find all of the features um, in um, the products that you look at, and certainly not uh, laid out in the unique format that you see here. So uh, let's um, kind of go through those. Uh, one thing to note is this video is not intended to really go into any real details, just to point out in a bullet fashion uh, some of these features. So let's kind of go through them quickly. The first thing you'll notice is the six tabs along the top. Um, that in and of itself is not unique, but the fact that, the, that Standard Time has all of these features is unique. You won't find this in um, all the other products that you look at. For instance, uh, having project tasks and the ability to um, lay out a hierarchy of tasks and have project management features in there. Uh, we saw the timesheet here. That's a simple layout where you can open up project tasks, uh, put your time in, simply enter your time, press tab, and you're done. Uh, many other timesheets make you choose a, a lot of drop-downs in order to make your final choice. This is a lot simpler. Uh, the time log tab where you're seeing just a list of the records that you've put into the timesheet. Expenses, where you have a list of all your expenses. Billing would be where you could uh, write invoices for billable time to clients. You'll see um, multiple currencies here. If you happen to be doing business in multiple locales, there's a time off section, which we'll go into a little bit later, where you can enter time off for vacation, PTO, sick, uh, other time off. So that in and of itself is a little bit unique. Uh, the next thing you'll find is that we have both Windows and I just opened up the web version. Uh, we have a web interface as well as, an, as a Windows interface, and it has the same six tabs along the top. So I'm going to minimize this, go back to the Windows app. Um, we talked about the simple timesheet layout. We also have a graphical timesheet. If you choose this, you see a graphical timesheet where you see all your time laid out in a graphical format. This menu also points out that we do have an expense sheet right on the timesheet. Let's go back to the timesheet here. Another thing we could look at is quick tasks. If we go to the view menu, and as you look through the menu itself, you may see some other features that I won't necessarily get to, but uh, might interest you. I'm going to choose quick tasks, and this little window allows you to simply click once to start and stop a task. Uh, that's fairly unique. You can click, click, click throughout the day and complete your tasks and it'll automatically fill in the timesheet. There are future billing rates. That's a little bit unique. Go to the billing rates, choose employee billing rates. If I click on the date range, you notice this is for future years. Standard Time allows you to put in your billing rates for future years so that your project tasks will calculate and that you'll have the rates there. We have a project revenue. This allows you to see the revenue for the months coming up for the next year. If I go to the view menu, choose project resource allocation, this particular chart has the availability bar chart chosen, which allows you to see availability of employees out into the coming months. That's a little bit unique. Let's just switch over to the uh, time off, and I'm just sort of hitting these things fast and furious. But if we go here and choose time off policies, you can see that standard time keeps track of the available hours you have, how many hours you earn, when you earn them, and so on and so forth. So this allows you to do this for every employee and every time off reason. So you have all of that automatic accrual that occurs. We also saw in that menu that there are blackout periods so that if you're uh, having a special meeting, you can cause people 
to uh, not be able to take time off during those time periods. Uh, in the reports menu there is uh, scheduled reports. This allows you to run reports on a regular basis. I go here, click on the dot 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 button, you can see I can schedule these to occur on regular occurrences. So a lot to look at here. I've only hit on a few of those, but um, this hopefully gives you a, a little bit of an overview of some of the unique features in Standard Time and helps you decide that uh, this might be a, a product worth looking at. Thanks for taking a look.